Is China's J-20 really better than America's F-22 Raptor? What if we told you that the battle for air dominance isn't just about speed or stealth? It's about how each fighter performs in real combat scenarios and what they truly represent in the global balance of power. Stay tuned till the end, because the truth might just surprise you. The Chengdu J-20, also known as the Mighty Dragon, is China's most advanced stealth fighter jet, and it has been compared to the American F-22 Raptor since its debut. While both jets belong to the fifth-generation class of fighters, designed for stealth, agility, and situational dominance, their origins and capabilities tell very different stories. The F-22 Raptor, developed by Lockheed Martin, was the first operational fifth-generation fighter in the world. It made its first flight back in 1997 and was introduced into the U.S. Air Force in 2005. Built for absolute air superiority, the F-22 is almost invisible to radar, can supercruise at Mach 1. 8 without afterburners, and performs unmatched aerial maneuvers thanks to thrust vectoring nozzles. It's equipped with powerful and slash APG-77 ASA radar, advanced electronic warfare systems, and a mix of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons that make it lethal in all conditions. Now, the Chinese J-21 flew in 2011 and entered service around 2017. Compared to the F-22, the J-20 is a newer platform, designed with stealth in mind but also with range and payload as priorities. It features a long fuselage, canards for extra lift, and internal weapons base to reduce radar cross-section. China's primary goal with the J-20 was not just air superiority, but power projection. The J-20 can fly longer distances, carry more fuel, and hit targets deeper into enemy territory. However, here's the key difference, engine technology. The F-22 runs on two Pratt and Whitney F-119 engines, providing unmatched thrust and supercruise capability. For years, the J-20 relied on Russian AL-31 engines, which limited its performance. But China has now started integrating its own WS. 10C engines into the jet. Still, these engines don't yet match the reliability and raw power of the F-22's propulsion system. When it comes to radar and avionics, the F-22 holds a strong advantage. Its radar can detect targets at long ranges while staying virtually undetected. It can also network with other U.S. assets, including AWACS, satellites, and even ships, giving the pilot an integrated battlefield picture. The J-20's radar and sensors are advancing, but much of their true capabilities remain classified or unverified by third-party sources. There's speculation that the J-20 has decent ASA radar and data link capabilities, but it's still not on par with the fusion technology found in the F-22 or F-35. One major difference is mission focus. The F-22 was designed purely for air dominance. To enter contested airspace, defeat any adversary, and leave undetected. The J-20 appears to serve dual roles, air superiority and long-range strike. Some defense experts believe the J-20 is more similar to an F-35 crossed with an F-22 than a direct Raptor clone. It's built to scare off assets like AWACS and aerial refueling tankers, forcing enemies to fight blind. On the dogfighting front, there's no contest. The F-22 is widely considered the best dogfighter ever built. Its agility, speed, and stealth combine to give it a deadly edge in close combat. The J-20, on the other hand, is larger and likely less maneuverable, though new variants with thrust vectoring may improve its close-range capability. Another key factor is production and deployment. The U.S. capped F- 22 production at just 187 units due to high costs and shifting defense priorities. China is reportedly ramping up J-20 production, possibly with over 200 jets in service already and more on the way. This numerical advantage could matter in a long-term regional conflict, especially near the Taiwan Strait or South China Sea. There's also the geopolitical angle. The F-22 is battle-tested and supported by the full might of the U.S. defense network. It can deploy globally, supported by satellites, tankers, and allied bases. 
The J-20, while growing in numbers, still lacks that global infrastructure. But China is rapidly expanding its bases in the South China Sea and enhancing its regional influence, so that might not stay true for long. Cyber warfare, electronic jamming, and artificial intelligence integration are becoming crucial in modern combat, and both nations are heavily investing in these areas. While the U.S. leads in software, AI, and multi-domain integration, China is catching up fast, and the next versions of the J-20 may incorporate even more advanced tech like quantum radar and drone teaming. So, is the J-20 better than the F-22? It depends on the battlefield. If we're talking raw performance, stealth, agility, and radar, the F-22 still dominates. But if we look at strategic intent, production scalability, range, and future potential, the J-20 is becoming a serious threat. It may not beat the F-22 one-on-one, -on -one, but it's part of a larger strategy, one where China aims to challenge U.S. dominance in the Pacific. Ultimately, while the F-22 was born to fight and win the air war of yesterday and today, the J-20 is being shaped for the war of tomorrow. It's not just about which jet is better, it's about who can adapt faster in a rapidly changing world. And that's the real battle. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed the deep comparison, subscribe to the next gen world, and hit the bell icon for more powerful insights into the world's most advanced military tech. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed.